Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube Chan Chan. Today we're reading some confessions. I keep telling myself that one day, okay, one day, I'm going to get through all of these confessions. But every single time I go back, I see just a little bit more confessions than I did the last time. 30,000? I kind of want to change it up and rank it based on relatability. I didn't make the tears yet. I literally came up with this as I turned the camera on. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to try to add some spice. You know, how relatable are these confessions? Are we the same? Are we one? Do we all need to go to therapy? I don't know. Find out today. I think at the top would be like, did I just read my own confession? And then the bottom would probably be like, can't relate. That doesn't mean I took out the jail tier, okay? I'm still going to add a maximum jail sentence. Because I know some of y'all need one of those. <laughs> My non-blood related cousins no i can't i can't keep doing this this is the first one and we're already getting a cousin confession on the first one yeah i'm being so for right now there is like a cousin confession epidemic in this google form the amount of cousin confessions like do you want to see do you l let me show you actually i'm not giving you a choice let's dive into the cousin side of this google form <laughs> When I do control F and I type cousin, there are 2,467 results found. I've had a crush on my fine cousin for years. When me and my cousin were like five, we I dated my dad's seven. cousin. I'm low key into my cousin, but like, I don't know if that's bad. So because like during winter break of last year, my like stepmom's cousin and I, I used to kiss my cousin. I gave three of my cousins Y'all and cousins. Should I should I make a cousin episode? Cousin this, cousin that. I mean honestly, if the royal family can do it, why can't y'all? I pushed my grandma down the stairs. She's still in the hospital. Yellow tape around his body. Where is the rest? I need to add that as a tier too. Where is the rest? Why do y'all tell me about the crimes you commit and don't follow up? Like, I have questions, I have concerns. Why did you push grandma? What was grandma doing that you just had to push her down a flight of stairs and now she in the hospital, probably with a fractured hip? And then the emojis. You added the casket emoji and the death emoji. Like, that's vile. That's actually vile. I don't even use that word. How long were you planning to do this? Was it premeditated? Also, this is not the first time that y'all have committed some acts, some very dangerous acts against your grandparents. So is this a trope that I don't know about? Is this like an enemies to lovers to casket? Why is there so much grandma violence? Keep it out of the chat. This is what I mean when I say y'all are going to jail. And I identify as a grandma myself. I am a grandmother. Are y'all gonna push me down a flight of stairs when I don't upload? The next time I go like a little while without uploading, the way I'm gonna be watching my back every five seconds, looking for one of y'all to push me down a flight of stairs. Next thing you know, I'm in the hospital. Who pushed me? A fellow debussy, a fellow dweeb, pushed me down the stairs. Maximum jail sentence, immediately. I, immediately. <laughs> Okay guys, before we move forward with these traumatizing confessions, I just want to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. So Timu is an online marketplace that lets you shop for products in like basically every category. There's fashion, jewelry, Korean skincare, which I think is really cool, organization, kitchen, makeup, like literally anything and everything you can think of, they have it. I usually tend to shop on my laptop, but when you download the app, you get a lot more perks. They have really affordable prices for great quality, and every time I go on the website, there's always a coupon. And I just be eating that up. I don't know if it's like my inner mom, my inner grandma, but I am a I, I love coupons, okay? My favorite thing about Timu is that they have free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. If you're a new shopper, you can get an extra 30% off using uh, the code right here that I put on the screen. Or I might put it here, or here, or here. Or like, maybe I'll like attach it to my hand and go like this. So my package actually came in today and I started opening it, but I was like, let me show y'all some of the things I got because they're cute. <laughs> But before I show you, you have to promise not to judge, okay? Pinky swear, pinky promise. Anyway, the first thing I got, by the way, I'm not a furry, I'm just gonna say that, but I got a little headband. <laughs> it's cute, it's fuzzy, it was like $2. Please validate me and please don't call me a furry, I swear. If one person does. Not gonna lie, I was in the Timu search bar and I did type in furry. The closest thing that I got to an article of clothing were these 
boxers. I just had to get Pickle Rick boxers. I actually posted a TikTok in it. And a lot of people were asking me, where did you get the boxers from? I got them in a size small and I'm probably gonna go and order like six other pairs. And after I put them on, I was like, why do these kind of slay? I also got a portable fan because I am going to Europe very soon. And apparently it gets a little hot. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I know when I do or if I do, I'm just gonna feel like a hot girl. I also got this toiletry bag for the trip, which I think it was only like $6. I also got the little makeup powder thingies, like the triangle ones. I've been using the same one for the past like three years, and it's so dirty. I probably shouldn't have added that in, but this is very needed. And I think they were only like $3 or $4, but everything was really affordable. I also decided to get a tote bag, which you're probably like, Deb, you don't need a tote bag, but this one has like a zipper. I've never traveled to Europe before, but I keep seeing articles of people saying like, don't get mugged, don't get robbed. So I was like, if I'm bringing a tote bag, the tote bag is gonna have a zipper. The last thing I got was something very important. <laughs> I got a plushie. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm so sorry. I just had to. But yeah, those are just some of the stuff I got from Timu. Let me guys know. Let me guys know. Yes, English. Let me know if you guys want a full haul. Once again, you can use my code SALE2497 for 30% off. And thank you, Timu, for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to the drama. I feel like I just had a little moment of like utopia. And now I have to read these confessions again. I was just in like my little playful world. I don't think I ranked the last one on relatability, but... Uh, I don't think I can relate to it. Some of us want our grandparents to live. So that one, I don't think I can rank it on relatability. <laughs> W Spotify audio to my friend and she didn't like it so I pretended like I didn't like them even though I like them <laughs> Me in the last video I posted. Oh, who said that? I feel like audios are like a hit or miss. It is not a great area of like, oh, it was okay. No, it's either they're gonna gravely miss It's gonna be awkward and uncomfortable or it's just gonna it's just gonna hit. I wouldn't bring that up to like most of my friends though. If the topic of audio comes up, I'm gonna act so dense and naive. I'm gonna be like, wow, audios? No, I, I don't know what that is. Is that like a new podcast that the teens are doing these days? Yeah, no, I don't, I'm not into that. I don't, I have no idea what that is. Listen, if we're gonna rank this on relatability, then I guess I just read my own confession. I don't know. <laughs> To be honest, if I was you in that situation, I'd probably pretend that I didn't like them either. Cause what do you want me to do? Convince you? Like, no, no, this is good. This track is good. I promise you, this whimpering, it's good in this next part. I'm not gonna say anything. But yeah, I wouldn't bring that up. I probably shouldn't have admitted to that cause I'm not gonna live that down, but that's okay. I'm gonna gaslight myself into thinking that that's okay. Gaslight girl keep gate boss guys. For life. <laughs> gonna be long sorry Deb I actually like the long ones I used to complain about long confessions but like now I eat them up so I met this guy on a convention who was interviewing single people and when he finished he went I literally just ran out of money can I pay with a kiss instead I said no <laughs> but I gave him my IG and we talked for a few days and FT or FaceTime almost every day but then he just left me on red for four days then I asked him why and he said he was in class it was 9 p.m. you are not in class sir what kind of high school <laughs> Goes to school at 9 p.m. Anyways, I'm so confused right now. He literally said he liked me. I'm not even mad or sad. I'm just Yeah, I'd be confused too. What is this? Can we just rewind? Can we go back to that kiss situation? What was that? Okay, that's gonna be $29.99 and is it cash or credit today? Actually, I think I left my wallet at home, but You know what I do have? <laughs> Let's play a little just be <coughs> It'd be like that though because I swear some people will literally be obsessed with you like foaming at the mouth the weak in the knees Yes, please back is arched and then you give them like an ounce of attention and then the next day not even the next hour They're leaving you on red or they're leaving you undelivered for like two weeks I think it's just a matter of people not knowing their emotions some people just don't know how they feel I am people by the way But I feel like with this confession you low-key dodged a bullet because me personally I would not be able to get over that kiss situation 
what was that? I'm like, I'm probably gonna think about it after I've turned this camera off and laugh about it. I wonder if you were like his first like test subject or if he's like tried that on somebody already and it already worked. Cause if that's what works, maybe I'll use it. Honestly, at this point I'll try it. I'll let y'all know if it works though. It probably won't. I, I may go to jail myself. <laughs> maybe I'll see the grandma pusher in there, but we'll see. <laughs> When I scratch the back of my leg, I get... <laughs> this is an interesting fun fact, to be honest. I've never heard of that before, and I find that very interesting. Um, I would keep this to myself, but I do have questions. Like, if I ever met you in person and you, like, admitted that to me, I would be so intrigued like is it like a central nervous system thing when I was in first year we learned about like different types of pain so like when pain radiates or like referred pain referred pain is basically like when you feel pain at a different site than its origin like sometimes I'll have pain in like my leg but I'll feel it in my back that's why I'm always saying I'm a grandma because I literally have like back pain all the time some people will be having a heart attack but they'll feel the pain in their jaw like the origin is in their heart like the muscle itself it's a different scenario for you but I'm thinking like Maybe that's just the way your central nervous system is. So you itch the back of your leg, and maybe there's some sort of like sensory neurons that connect it to your... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna dig into that. Did you pray? Did you pray today? I can break it down on some gas shit. I don't even know if I can relate that or rank it, but if I were to rank it, I would say it is something that we should talk about, but not in like a, let's talk about this, but like a, let's talk about this. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, I do find that interesting. That, that's pretty cool to me. Um, I almost kind of wish that happened to me. In first grade, I peed at my teacher's desk. Not on purpose, aw. I never told anyone about it. I had the exact same experience. Funny enough, in the first grade as well. But it was in front of my teacher and we were sitting on the floor and I think she was like reading a story or something. I literally remember it like it was yesterday. Like it, it haunts me so much. I had to pee so bad, but for some reason I didn't wanna asked to go to the bathroom or I don't know I just as a kid whatever I just remember having to pee so bad and then I couldn't hold it anymore and I was in the first grade I don't know why it took me so long to be potty trained but anyway I couldn't hold it anymore and then it literally just like spread around me like you know when you drop like blue food coloring into the glass of water and it just kind of like spreads into the, the liquid like it, that that's literally how it was except it was just like surrounding me like this big yellow aura except it's not aura it's urine and it smells and it's pee and i'm in the first grade and everybody looks at me like oh my gosh ew did you just pee yourself and i was like oh my gosh i did and i cried so much yeah i don't know where that came from hey try me bitch like dugger i'll be slimy bitch our body shit after it happened, my first grade teacher was like, why did you do that? Like, why didn't you just ask me to go pee? I would have let you. I can't remember why that happened or what the issue was. That's probably in some next repressed part of my brain, so I'm not gonna dig there. I do understand not wanting to tell anybody about it. It happens. But really, there's nothing to be ashamed about. You're in the first grade. It happens to the best of us. I'm here with you. We can start like a support group. That first grade incident, I, like that was over me like a cloud. If I'm ranking this on relatability, I mean, I practically just read my own confession. I really just did, word for word. That was my own confession. And y'all are always asking me to confess one of my things, so there you go. I added one just for you. A nice little pee-pee story about my small bladder and my childhood nervousness. I have really bad self-image issues, and during high school, I would purposely try and make friends with kids I didn't like at all and thought were incredibly rude, just so I could feel special when they treat me better than everybody else. I don't, I don't know you, personally, but I know that that isn't something that is easy to admit. I know the situation itself isn't, you know, good or like something to be proud of, but the fact that you admitted it, I'm proud of you. It takes some self-awareness. I'm actually serious, like I would take a lot 
to get out of here. You said during high school, so I don't know if this was like a while ago and we're in like college now or like university, but I hope this was like a very short period of time in your life. High school was probably like my lowest point self-image wise, so I understand like acting out of the ordinary, doing things that you wouldn't typically do to kind of like feed your ego or to make yourself feel better. So I get it, you know, I understand. And I feel like we've all been there. Like, But overall, you know, bad people are bad people. And just because they treat you better, that doesn't necessarily excuse their bad behavior towards everybody else. I hope you've made some really good friends that like you for you and that you like them for them as well. This kind of reminds me of like the whole trope of he's nice to me but he's mean to everybody else for a while i was eating that up because i'm just like oh i want somebody who like hates the world but loves me but then i was like why would i want someone who sees the world in such a hateful way i don't know if you guys remember that trope but like that was like a huge like book thing but yeah i used to eat that up i would snort it up and now i'm like absolutely not kind of off topic though but yeah i'm proud of you for admitting it and i hope you have some very lovely people in your life <laughs> Tickling fetish. Sometimes about dominant men taking charge over me, bondage, and making me laugh hard, I guess. <laughs> my, bo <laughs> my boyfriend knows, but I've thought about booking a session with a professional tickler because my boyfriend tickles me too hard. <laughs> drafted this i would really like to know for a minute i thought this was real i mean maybe it still is because i'm really gullible so I, this really could be real and i wouldn't know because people have their you know their little interests i'm not gonna knock on that you know we all have our little things we're into but then you said you wanted to book a session with a professional tickler you must think i'm a joke there's just no way that's real i mean if you're like a professional tickler then i'm sorry for invalidating your profession but girl there's just no way and why, why would you go to, let's say this is real, okay? I don't believe it, but let's say it's real. You have a fetish, so you're gonna go to a professional tickler to turn you on. What? What is a professional tickler gonna do for you? Like, I'm not saying it's real, but like, let's say hypothetically this is real. Your boyfriend tickles you too hard to the point where you think you need to go to some professional to get professionally turned up like what would the professional tickler do for you and what does a session look like how do you start do you just like lift your armpits up and he goes tickle 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 like where would this go and like how does the booking process work is it like like a nail appointment like you have to book a week in advance is there like intensity tickle levels is there like armpit tickle two hundred dollars an hour feet tickle five hundred dollars an hour what wait why am i low-key interested i'm finding ways to stay concentrated on what i gotta do But like, hypothetical. Hypothetically speaking, I am slightly intrigued. Just slightly. Mr. Bombastic. Hey, grandchildren. <laughs> so I actually was supposed to have like another 20 minutes of footage, but it just cut out. Also, I don't know how loud this is. I hope this isn't too loud. I don't usually use this mic, but let me, let me test the volume. Okay, good, we're on. I had like three other confessions and I did an outro and it just cut out. So I was like, okay, I guess the video is just gonna have to end here. It was supposed to be longer because I wanted to, I wanted to have a little gift after my little hiatus for a little month and a half. To make up for the lack of content and the lack of outro, the top comment gets to decide my next video. Make it a good one. Wow. Make it a good one. Also, this is gonna be at the end of the video. So like, I know y'all not here. Yeah, top comment, guess <laughs> that I could do. Anyways, y'all, okay. that's my that's my parting gift. I'm sorry, I'm not even like, bro. When I was on, when I used to watch YouTubers and people were like, I lost the footage. I'd be like, sure you did. Yeah, I swear. I swear I lost the footage. I just had to say that because I felt bad. And I like after my last video, everybody was like, where did you go? And I'm like. Ew, y'all missed me, like. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next video, and I'll be looking at the comments. Bye.
Bags in front. 